Welcome to this week's video and welcome to Tasmania. This is a state I've wanted to come to for some time. I originally planned in early March last year to come down here and do some photography. Obviously COVID-19 changed all that so 12 months later I'm finally able to get back down here. We had a few COVID restrictions coming down on the plane and a few things we had to do but that was nothing to be able to just make it to this beautiful location. This morning though I'm at a location that I've always wanted to shoot for a long long time and that's been along Bay in the Bay of Fires and I've come down here this morning and there's a little bit of cloud on the horizon a bit of dark cloud hanging around from some showers but I've just been walking around here and getting my gear set up ready to shoot in the pre-dawn darkness I think we're going to get a little bit of light this morning we'll have to wait and see I'm so glad that, uh, that I did come down here yesterday afternoon in the daylight to scope out some uh, compositions. It would have been far too hard to do it this morning, but I'm going to just get my camera set up now, prep up my gear, and then I'll come back and talk to you some more when we get a little bit more light. Just firing off 15 second exposures here at the moment because we're getting more and more light on the horizon, so I'm just starting to shorten up my shutter speed, but so far the images I've got coming out really nicely. So we've just popped in a neutral density filter and that's really dampened down the sky and it's balancing out the shot a lot more. We're just starting to get those pink hues on the horizon now so turning out to be a beautiful morning here. Most of that residual cloud we had on the horizon has just drifted north and we're starting to get clearer skies in front of us. So because there's not much cloud in the sky I've actually tilted my composition down and I'm focusing on these rocks in the foreground round here and uh, this beautiful orange lichen that's really lighting up the shot and really giving it a dramatic foreground with the, the lone tree in the background. We're just starting to get a little bit of colour on the horizon now and what my hope is that we'll, we'll get a little bit more pink hues shortly and it'll really bring this shot to life. Getting a lot lighter here at Binalong Bay and I've moved around and I've got another composition set up now which is a vertical composition. And again, I'm focusing on the rocks in the foreground with that beautiful orange lichen. And then I've got the tree in the background. Not a lot of colour on the sky now. Unfortunately, all that cloud we had earlier has drifted off down to the south. So I'm just waiting. The sun should be rising shortly. I'm just waiting to see if I can get a little bit of uh, colour in the sky once the sun starts to rise a little bit. But these rocks here at the Bay of Fires are just amazing. They've got this beautiful orange lichen on them, as I said. And a lot of people might be mistaken in thinking that that's how the area got its name, but it was actually when the first explorers came into this area, the Aboriginals, first Australians, were having a lot of campfires along the bay here and looking into the bay. That's how the area got its name, but it's just a stunning location with this beautiful blue turquoise water, crystal clear, and then these striking orange rocks that just give off that really great contrast. And it's a uh, it's an area where a lot of photographers want to come and shoot. There's already been a few down here this morning shooting. Probably be a few more today as well. Unfortunately, not a lot happening on the sky at the moment. So, um, yeah, that cloud's moved away. So, still sitting on this composition. Just a beautiful morning to be out regardless. And um, great to finally get here to Binalong Bay and, and do a shoot. That ends a great morning here at Binalong Bay. I did a variety of different shots right throughout the area, some long exposures and some differing compositions. Unfortunately, the, the cloud that we had earlier on in the morning moved away and it didn't provide for a lot of colour in the sky, so I was concentrating on foreground interest. And this area is the sort of place that you can do that because, because of these rocks and the colours that are in them it really makes for strong foreground interest so I was using the wide angle lens and focusing down lower in on a lot of those rocks to give the shots a little bit more drama 
I had the lone tree here at Binlong Bay in the background in a lot of the shots that you'll see coming up. But I'm going to keep moving around this area. I'm here for another three days, so hopefully I might even get a sunrise or another sunset here over the next couple of days. The weather's supposed to turn pretty ordinary tomorrow afternoon, so I'm hoping the weather can hold out so I can get out and shoot some more around this beautiful area called the Bay of Fires. Later that day, I visited some local waterfalls nearby, including Halls Falls. This area was a highlight with beautiful tree ferns surrounding the flow of the pristine Groom River. I chose to stay above the falls and look for some detailed compositions of the Cascades. It was an amazing place and well worth a visit. By the time I returned to the Bay of Fires, the sun was out and I decided to enjoy the blue sky sunny day and take in all the area had to offer. Doesn't look like we're going to get any light on our second last morning here at the Bay of Fires. I just set up a vertical composition with all these orange rocks in the foreground. And I'll probably go for a, maybe a moody black and white because there's definitely no colour at all this morning. The sun should be rising about now but we've just got this flat grey cloud across the entire sky. Not letting any light through whatsoever. Still it's nice to be down here this morning, quite warm quite still and um, yeah just a beautiful location not many people around this morning probably less photographers than what there was yesterday morning I have one last chance and that's tomorrow morning so if I don't do any good to unfortunately the sun and decent light did not return however I managed some images using the available light the Bay of Fires is a place I must return to completes our first episode of Tasmania here at Binalong Bay. Unfortunately we didn't really get the light we were after in the early morning sunrise. I managed to get a couple of shots here but certainly not like some really epic light like I've seen other people get here before. This completes this episode. Today we move on further down the coast and further around Tasmania so hopefully more Tasmania episodes coming up shortly. But you know what to do if you've enjoyed the content of this video, go down below, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you haven't been here before, consider subscribing, tap the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Hopefully I'll be around shooting some more landscapes soon. I'll see you there. The cloud just continues to catch this beautiful light. And I think I've got enough shots in the bag now.